I don't want to waterboard anybody in the same sensorial stimuli. The point of stories would be to make you think and feel about the world based on your own relationships with it. The film is a sensorial journey through the pollution of all kinds in my hometown of New Delhi. After finishing my last film machines, I was in uh, school studying aesthetics and politics. And there I was really interested in how cinema as a medium that was only almost a hundred years old and a little bit more has charted the course of our species' relationship to the natural world. It was only in the last hundred years that massive changes happened um, to our relationship with the biosphere. So my thesis was about the cinema and the Anthropocene. And I thought Delhi, my hometown, was a city that was ripe to be studied under this lens. And once going back, I had the deep desire, once I saw how Delhi looked from the view of an airplane window, which was completely submerged. And the irony was not lost on me that it's this plane that I'm sitting in, the privilege that this plane gives me of mobility, that is one of the biggest reasons why I can't see my city from the sky. Of course, it reminds me of the statement that Godard made that filmmakers love to be hypocrites. I don't want to waterboard anybody in the same sensorial stimuli. When, when, you, when we think about rights, uh, I, I do believe that there can be a lot of questioning about it, but I think at the end of the day, we all as living beings, not just humans, um, have the need to feel love. I do think more than going towards human rights, my uh, biggest motivators to make work is the question, to whom does the earth belong? Human rights is a very, it's as complex a subject as as basic and fundamental it is. I feel to like didactically communicate or demand a particular feeling to uh, stick to you as an audience is, is too much. And every time that happens to me from another film, I don't like feeling manipulated. I don't think of cinema in terms of a, um, a device or a tool to give out messages or theories. I see it more as a way to share my experiences with the world. And that applies for nonfiction or fiction where the point of stories would be to make you think and feel about the world based on your own relationships with it. I think that at the end of the day, art just affects an individual person and individuals make collectives.